with. Yeah. Um, I've settled on um, just kind of tiering the top four as like I think Marth Fox. Fox in the same tier. But I, I do and think. And then like a different tier. I do think that Marth arguably beats Fox. Sure. And I think he definitely beats Fox. I and like. It is, like, shouldn't that be what the best team game is? You know, like, going... Like, I don't know if those other matchups matter enough to yeah. take that away from them. But they do then, because it's like cause it's like the current metagame, you know? There's yeah. still Yoshi out there taking uh, in the bracket you have to watch out for. There's also still no Fox, or no Fox, no uh, Marth that consistently beats Fox. I mean, there's no any There are only Foxes that consistently beat Fox. I know. Or like up up. I would say there are Vogue Marth that consistently beat Puff. They just don't beat Puff. Okay. Alright, this is way too long of a hand warmer. Look, he's just laughing and shit. Like, come on. He's got games to play. So, what's the six tag? Six. Uh, maybe... It could just be somebody knows what Foxy is, but like... Maybe Hax is it's a Google. big fan of... Canada. Yeah, like, Drake. I doubt it. In fact, I like... I really... I think if you, Drake is like the last rapper Hax that would be a big fan of. <laughs> Hax probably has strong opinions about Drake that aren't favorable, if I had to guess. But like everything... He has no, a strong I, I opinion think, about it. I think Drake has gone so far into people, like, hating him, like, just because he's Drake at this point, that Hacks might have, like, over... Right, re... Yeah. Totally. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Hacks' opinions are generally that, uh... I think he generally sticks with... Uh, like, like, I don't think he, he goes anti-mainstream. Anti he's just very absolutist about it. Yeah. He leaves no room for nuance. He's definitely an Except if you actually talk to him, he does. Like, he said that Marth might be the best character in the game. Like, Fox maybe isn't even conditionally yeah. the best. But, like, that's just not, that's not how he represents himself. I think I think a lot of people are coming to the conclusion that... Are we, are we both watching Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah. Who's the, Daigo playing? Uh, Daigo is against... Uh, this is what you him, guys himself, did. apparently. Aren't, just, aren't we all? He's kind of like shadow. Isn't that I, ultimately our? Own I think opponent? he's shadow boxing himself. He's the will closing to keep his eyes. on winning. Yeah, he's closing his eyes, like thinking, "Okay, I can do this." Uh, those are commentators. Oh, I think those are analysts. I think there's a difference. No, I guess because like there's the commentators that commentate during the match. That's us, and then there's yeah. the people you cut to between the matches. Mm. But that, these guys might actually be. I don't think these guys are both. I was watching some of this. Okay, stuff. they're going to Dreamland. Okay. Um, yeah, I see it. Ultimately, they did just win here. Ultimately, I think this is better for the Peach team, but I think, um, like, in a vacuum, I think DJ is so good on this stage that uh, it's good. It's like, it's like a good pick. Well, oh, DJ, DJ yeah. is on the Sorry, Peach team. Sorry, I was thinking of Rob. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Jane's cool. I mean... Jaden has speed. Flex has a, has speed. That's no, it's true. definitely not. It's definitely. I mean, it's definitely blue team. So there is at least that. I wonder if uh, if this is going to become a consistent team because they they also team at Smash One. Uh, yeah. Talking about um, didn't they team Flex at and and Pat? Didn't they team at It's Lit? I don't know. I didn't watch it before. I don't know if there was team Pat. I just heard about it after Tater Tots. I mean, it's fucked up. Tater Tots. Yeah, dude, they had free Tater Tots and like one dollar wings. Oh wow. Although apparently the like menu fee was really high for it. But like, uh, man, I'm down. That place looks so lit. Yeah, I can't uh, go to Sunday tournament. So. Why not? Uh, I have a youth. I, I talked about this right, last right, Saturday. Right. Youth group thing to do. Do they uh, play melee? No. Not yet. No. Are you trying? Are you working on it? <laughs> I'm not working on it currently. They they have uh, they have real life issues. They're in high school. Uh, Man, I had real life issues that I don't want to say I solved through melee, but uh, like no, for sure. But it's it's also way harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, man, the game's too old for 
<laughs> Why did you say that? I. <laughs> No, like I, don't, I, I, I meet like 15 year olds who play, who started playing this game two years ago. Yeah, like Jesus, game is literally older than you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, if any of my preschoolers that I teach turn out to be godly names, they'd be really unhappy <laughs> with what I've done in this world. Currently, everyone in the youth group is a girl. Oh wow! So, yeah. Coincidentally. Yeah. Okay. Back to Matt. Um. This thing's fucked. Yeah. I can't even pause right. Um. Wait, what the? Oh, he didn't have a stop? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're done. I thought this was at least uh, two stops on the loot side. Axe is a legend, but uh. Axe's Nair is really good. Also, like. Yeah, dude! That's his whole like, game plan. He's Nair's better than everybody. I actually think he might have the best Nair's. Maybe like Mega. But like. I think his uh, ability to use theirs approaching wise is better than Leffen's. And like, Leffen has better ones that are like, payback theirs are like, theirs put out to stop you from trying to um, get in on him. But uh, what's this saying? I think this is perfect. And also he always gets, like he does really high nares a lot of the time. And he always, like I don't want to say makes them safe on shield because they're not really safe. But like, he'll always do the frame perfect shine. To make yeah. it extremely hard to punish, and it's like it might as well be safe. They have to read it. They can't just react to the high. Battlefield. Okay. Um. Pax takes battlefield. Yeah. Oh, that was actually really smart. You saw him uh bait trying to uh to hit the grab, and then he just jumped over Peach, and Peach hit the, bot, the grab box. That was a really really clever play. I think Pokemon could have been the pick here. We'll see oh, how it works out for a blue game, though. I mean, is there a reason you wouldn't want to play Pokemon as Sheik against, like, I mean, besides the Fox, but, like, uh, against, and that's like, double Fox against Sheik? Against double spaces. Because otherwise, but, I really don't see why. Yeah, in teams, it's, it's not really as bad. Same as FD. I actually think it's worse than Sheik. Peach? No, I'm talking about Sheik. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's why I think, um, that's why I think they definitely should have it. But, comfort picks. And I guess, yeah, like, they're sure. gonna have to win on top. Yeah. I mean, it's still statistically I mean, the wrong decision, but, uh... Well, it depends if, uh, if you're... I guess it really depends on if you're counterpicking because of the Peach or counterpicking because of the Fox. Because if you're counterpicking because of DJ, then this isn't a bad pick. Right. That's a recovery. Yeah. Nonetheless, he is worse than this. Is that we do? Oh, that was really good. Oh, uh, oh. He was at 120. Yeah, worth that's it. Yeah. 100 worth it. Take that every day. Oh no. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He. He STI out of the dare and uh, just down that. Um, so this is the most Amada thing that I've ever heard. Um, Tove was talking about it, where it's Tove hit the back of Armada's shield. It's like, you know, Fox, good thing, hit the back yeah. of the shield, and he did what started doing pressure strings. So he went for a dare, and instead of like shielding it, he just drops shield, STI's out, and dares it and uh, down it. Oh, my God. All right, yeah. Um, uh, that's like, um, so me and some of the Westchester people have, like, whenever someone brings up Dark Rain, we make the joke, we're like, we just go, Dark Rain's irrelevant. And the reason we say that, that is because of him versus Armada at Big House 4, where, Armada, where Dark Rain actually did the right thing. But Armada just like smashed the eyed everything and punished him for doing the right thing. That's why he can beat Falcon. Oh man, if he didn't have smashed the eye, he would suck at that matchup. Yeah. Cause like I don't know, I watch him versus Falcon, and most of the time I'm just like, man, what are you doing? And then he like just smashed the eyes out of Nair, and it's like, oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I do think I think it might be his worst matchup. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, well, I, I, I guess. I mean, I think it's objectively better for them. Um, no, no, it's not. 
Well, I think it's even, but like, why go even if you stop Pokemon? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we're doing it because DJ is more comfortable on platform. But... Right. At that point, like, that's just thing. I don't think you can play to your opponent, like, to play around your opponent's strength too much. Yeah. I think you, like, crowd yourself out. Jaden's also your own strength. really good at doing that. Yeah, I've seen some nasty shit. In doubles, does it, like, you know, I don't know. If you don't have the long chain grabs, like. I mean, you don't need the chain grabs. If, if he can hit you off of a dash attack and hit you for, like, 40%, right. that's huge in doubles. Is that, I mean, I guess this, I think the space actually helps the huge team a lot, too. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I think they should have gone Pokemon because early kills, yeah. like, they weren't winning the, uh, the attrition battle. Yeah, I totally they understand needed, like, not, early kills. Yeah, I totally understand not going Yoshi's against Peach. Dude, I totally understand, understand not going Yoshi's in Peach, period. Just fucking yeah, that true. shit. <laughs> but we need five stages. I know, but like, just gentlemen, to, like nobody picks you. Actually, I think picking Yoji's is admitting you're the worst team. It's like, fuck oh, it, yeah. hit the lever, RNG. Uh, Sled used to say that uh, the team that wins on Yoji's is always the worst team. I, I believe it. Well, not like always the worst team. No, definitely But I think not. if you pick Yoshi, you're saying like, my chance of winning this honestly is worse than my 50-50 chance on this bullshit stage. If, if we're going to have Pokemon with, uh, with uh, transformations. transformations, let's just ban Pokemon and Yoshi and have three not stages for this. doubles. <laughs> As a box man, no. No, just in doubles. I like my Pokemon, dude. Yeah, but like, let's get FD2. Can we just play everything in doubles on a Battlefield Three plan? Oh shit, no, I don't like that at all. Actually, <laughs> whenever I'm playing with Will, it's like we we always think about it for every different like composition. But um, so you guys always ban Dreamland. We literally Dreamland. always ban Dreamland Battlefield. It's just the best against. It's like what's good for us. <laughs> he rolled it, dude. Um, it's just what's like better for us against every team. And then like, if it's not better for you against every team, we're more like. Fuck Battlefield that is. Yeah. Oh, fuck Dreamland. Oh, my Battlefield Dreamland. That's fair.